What's going on, YouTube? Is Donnie B all day? Donnie B all day, the old D bad coming at you. Oh, yeah. So, guys, listen, I'm bringing you something today that I don't know if you've been waiting for it, but I've been waiting to bring it to you. I've had this thing sitting around for a long time, and if you are not illiterate and you can read the title, you know that what is coming at you is the Cold Steel SRK in VG10 San My Steel. Oh my goodness. What that means is you're about to see a really, really good knife. So let's talk about, oh, let's talk about this real quick first. It's the, um, what do you call it there, a Secure X sheath. It's ambidextrous. You can switch it around, do whatever you want, put it any way you want it. Um, generally, generally, I like to be able to adjust my, um, my, uh, my belt loop to where I have a pretty high rise because, you know, something like this, is good for an everyday carry. I mean, this is great for an every, everyday carry. You just don't want it hanging too low. This one for me hangs just a little bit too low because as you come down the sheath, the hole's narrow. So there's only so many options you have. I haven't really tried to put it there. It just looked like it wouldn't fit, but who knows? Maybe it would. Anyway, the holes, lashing, lashing, lashing. So you have all these, all these spots to where I could put this you know, upside down on a pack, you know, um, I could pretty much just do anything I want with it. It's got room for accessories. So if I want a ferro rod, if I want, you know, my striker, you know, anything, I want to put a compass on there. Who cares? I can put anything I want on there. Um, the sheaths are really strong. All of my cold steel knives that come with the Secure X sheath are just awesome. I mean, they're unbreakable pretty much. So I don't know, works, works really well. I just like an option where I could raise it. Normally, I love a leather holster too, but on something like this, that's kind of fitting because this thing, man, wow. All right, so this guy right here, you are looking at a blade length of six inches. It's 10 and three quarter overall. Um, and I told you it's VG San Mai. San Mai even says so right about there. Um, and let's see, it's got a five millimeter thick blade and the Cray X is what they call it. The Cray X handle is like four and three quarter. So now I brought you many, many cold steel knives and I brought you cold steel knives with this Cray X handle. These handles hold up. I mean, they hold up and uh, they're comfortable. They are rugged, they're strong. And um, they work, you know what I mean? It's just a plain black, and it's got like these little dimples and what on it. But it works. You have your uh, you have your lanyard hole there. Um, that's brass lined, um, man. But it, everything everything here is about this steel. And I don't know. I might have to get it into the light for you to see it. Maybe you can see it. You can see that line right there going all the way up. Yeah, you can see it. San Mai. San Mai is the art of folding one steel over another steel to make a great steel. Um, this is just, I mean, you're taking a hard steel and then you're wrapping it around, you know, with a softer steel. And it, what it does is it provides strength, you know what I mean? And prevents it from being brittle and snapping in half. And basically, you're taking what could be a really good knife and you're making it a really great knife this is some of the best stuff out there and when it's done by cold steel you know it's done right because they don't just test their products they over test their products and i'm gonna give you a little bit of testing right now because this thing deserves to be seen. And I know I'm your, I don't know what, your 16th favorite knife reviewer, and I'm proud of that. But I'm gonna bring you a knife that's much higher up on the list. This guy is awesome. So let's get this thing started. Let's begin with Cold Steel SA SRK Sharpness. I wanna try to hit it high. Maybe, uh, maybe I can hit it a couple times here. Oh yeah, that is straight through. Now let's see if we can come back. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so sharp. It's so sharp that every hit 
it's just making these pretty little slices and I didn't want to cut all the way through I wanted to see how many times I could actually hit it before it falls down and runs out of water um, it's just so sharp every time I just flick my wrist at this thing I know I have to show you guys but it makes these sweet cuts let's see <laughs> you know the death of a thousand death of a thousand cuts that's what's happening to this milk jug so I mean there it's just so so sharp hello somebody killed me with the SRK um man oh man all right let's go put it to some actual tests come on all right we will begin with some let's just see how it fits in the world knife uh four foot drop test straight down good balance and that's what we're looking for is balance that thing the tip oh wow it actually i'm that's a straight gravity drop and that has got some bite to it speaking of drop let's do some um some hard downward throws and we'll see how it all holds up man that is solid Ugh, get out of there get out of there i said oh my gosh this knife is burying itself into the wood a chunk of wood jumped out That's how hard it hit freaking cold steel srk san my I don't know if you see how far that is. I'm just breaking this freaking wood. That's like an inch deep. <laughs> this thing has so much bite. It's incredible. It's incredible. I'm going to show you that crack was the wood and not the blade. This blade is not, and I mean not going to crack like that. All right. I wanted to show you that it was shaved sharp before I got started. So I'm gonna have to abuse the edge just a little bit, just a little bit, doing some uh, plastic and rope cutting, stuff like that, which is easy. And now we'll go to the, now we'll go to the hair, which is coming off. I'm in a spot where I barely have any hair. <laughs> I'm trying to look, oh, I, it's funny. I, I can see it flaking away in the wind. Literally, it's every time I pass, I'm watching I still have some on there, though. A whole bunch on there, as a matter of fact. But, um, look at this. Yeah. As I was, as I was shaving, it was literally just going, foo, foo, foo. <laughs> A little tiny breeze. All right, so, I mean, this stuff is, it's not even considered real testing right here because what we're doing is nothing. But, it's to show you that the blade is a user. So now, this is hardwood. This is really, really hardwood. It's really nice and dense. This thing just cruises through it. And don't worry, this isn't the only wood testing I'm going to do. I know you're like, all right, great. That SRK is great against twigs. Nice job, Donnie B. All day. Um, but it's just, I mean, processing is going to be so, so easy. Um, let's see here. Oh my goodness, it is so smooth, so smooth, hard wood, and it shaves like I'm shaving balsa wood, and if you guys don't know what balsa wood is, remember that time when you were in fourth grade and you went to the museum and you ended up getting that little airplane that you wind up with a rubber band with a propeller? That's balsa wood, that's balsa wood, so you need to make darts. You need to make arrows, you need to make spears, you need to make pit strikes, uh, strikes, pit strikes. That's not even what I meant. You want to make pit spikes, um, you know what I mean? You got to trap and, and kill and uh, get some animals so you can eat something. This is the guy right here. This is the guy right here. All right, so let's see. Here. Let's see if we can feather stick hardwood. Man, man, too, too easy. I mean, too easy. There should be a law saying that you should make it at least pretend to look a little harder. Cold steel. You're making other knife companies look bad with a product this good. With a product this good, cold steel. You're making other companies just look bad. 
dog's going mental. Don't know why. I think he just wants to get in a little on this action. All right. Let's go um, Let's go do some chopping with it. Come on. All right. We took a little detour. Got some one-inch forest trees. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. Man. This is a wobbler, too. So if the knife is dull or just the least bit uh, out of profile to where... You're not going to be able to cruise right through. See if I can block that sun. You're not going to be able to cruise right through because if it's nice little dull and you hit this, it's just going to push and wobble. It's not going to go straight through. This blade, let's see. Look at this. This is just a hanging, dangling twig. You ever try chopping one free, freestanding? Man. Hoo wee That's hard to do. That's hard to do on a twig. So... Let's see, we got a bigger one over here. I'm going to readjust you guys so you can actually see what's going on here. Hold on now. All right. Let's see. I should be in frame here. Yeah, all right, so we have another one. Easy money. Easy money. Easy money. Easy money. I just go down the line. No matter how thick it gets, it's going to work. Let's do the old cucumber salad. All I'm doing is getting under the skin. I'm not taking any wood away. And that's it. Making it smooth as butter. Now you need a sharp edge if you plan on doing this where you're just getting literally, literally just under the skin. You can see where it's all nice and green. Looks like a peeled cucumber. That's it. Man, let's do some long ones here. This thing is spectacular i mean if you guys i mean if you understand goodness this thing is just goodness goodness it's just so good even the short little pieces that are hard to hold on to i'm breezing right through it's just an awesome blade but we need to chop something a little thicker so let's go do that all right I got a, I got distracted. Got a paint can. Let's see. Oh yeah, metal paint can lid. Not even close to stopping this thing. It's just awesome. Is there any edge damage? No. Is there any problems? Any deviations? No. Any bending? Any warping? Any folds? No. Any D lamb? No. There's not even scratches on this blade. Woohoo, sand my. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I got this little gaggle of trees here. Let's uh, let's hit one of these. Oh, oh yeah. No glove. No lanyard. No problem. See a lot of these guys. Come out here with their gloves on and their little lanyards. And it's almost like cheating. And it's like, well, what happens if you get stuck without that thing? What happens if you don't have your glove? Can you worry about your hands not being manly enough to strike? And they talk about hot spots and this and that. You know, I can get hot spots on a good, on a well-made blade and handle. You're going to get a knockdown tree. That's what you're going to get. So, let's see, how big was this guy? This is how big this guy was. Here's a blade, look at that. It's about a three inch tree, tore it up. Beep. All right, let me hold that on there. Oh my goodness. Remember, this is only a six inch blade. Chopping like one of those little wilderness axes. I mean, it's cruising. Every every strike is just removing product, removing wood. And if the blade wasn't good or the handle was uncomfortable, I wouldn't be able to sit around here, especially without gloves on, and just whack away at this damn thing because. 
I would be feeling it. This, this is nice. This is nice. Look at, I don't know how well you guys could see this. Pretty much all the way through already. Money, money, money. Let's keep going. Okie dokie. So that big guy that we just chopped down. Let's split him in half. All right. Got myself a baton. Thanks to my knife. Let's go right to the tip. Put all that abuse right on the tip. I love the sound of wood when it splits and it makes that dunk dunk. You guys who split wood, you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's do this some more. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's just so nice. It is so nice. Here we go. Here we go. I'm telling you, this is so easy. Donned right through a twig. Holy Moses. All right, so I could do this literally all day. I could sit here. I could baton. I could chop. I could rattle through trees and whatnot. Oh, man. It's just going to take it. It's just going to take it. You know what it hasn't done yet, though? It hasn't gone five yards away from a target and bit in. So we set you guys up all proper. Yeah. All right, let's try that. Let's try, I've never thrown this. Well, it shouldn't be that bad. Shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> no cutting, no dicing, no splicing, no editing. The Cold Steel, SRK, and San Mai. This thing is a beast. All right, so what do I love about it? Every freaking thing. There isn't one part of this knife that I would say, yeah, but if only, no. This thing is fantastic. Anybody who knows my channel, you know I love some good jimping right here. I love a good choil. This has neither, but you know what? Uh-uh, this knife doesn't need it. This knife is so comfortable in the hand, and this little, this little finger, uh, finger guard right here just does all the right work. All the right work being a five millimeter blade um, you have enough room to where you know you're not falling off the edge of this thing when you're using your finger on it so the jimping is unneeded now it is um, it is at a 90 I haven't tried to strike with it yet but if even if I needed to I would just use right here um, so I'm not even worried about that man this thing is an absolute beast it is awesome. Guys, the San Mai SRK is the best SRK ever made. And they have done this in different steels along the way. Um, they've even done it in, I think, different colors. They've done it in black. Um, but this right here, this is so smooth, so beautiful. It, it's just, it's an absolute done right knife. This thing is one of those any job, all job, whatever job type knives. It, it's it's an all day, every day carry. You can keep this thing on you, even though this is considered a little long, a six inch blade is long for an everyday carry, especially in most places where you have to worry about Johnny Law. Um, but uh, I'll tell you what, if it's, if it's something that you're in a place where you can carry, this is definitely worth being your everyday carry. Uh, this, the edge is going to hold up. The steel is going to hold up. The looks are going to hold up. It's just a great, great knife. Um, it's an all-around camp slash utility slash survival slash everyday carry knife. Um, it's just fantastic. It's just fantastic. Uh, nobody does it like cold steel. Not like this. This is just absolutely wonderful. Um, I am so proud to own this knife 
And I know that if you got yourself an SRK, especially in San Mai, you would be just as proud. This thing is freaking awesome, baby. Look at this, even this close-up. Wah, wah. Um, really, really cool. I'm going to go clean it up, cook some breakfast. Yeah, I'm Donnie B. All Day. And until next knife.